never know how to start these gear demos, so I'm not gonna even try. Hi, I'm Eric Haugen. I have a new toy. Did you know <laughs> that you can get a high watt now? Yeah, that's what I'm playing through back there. I have the high five, which is their little five watt amp. And now I have the T2010, which is <laughs> 15 more than the five. It's bigger. It's this amp kills. This thing rips. I, I think you can hear it's just a punchy, uh, just a punchy little dinosaur, really. <laughs> Yeah, definitely a rhythm guitar player's best friend. Let's talk about it. Well, what is it? It's an amplifier. Uh, it's a two EL84 amp, which are the, the little skinny tubes that sound very good. So in many ways, this amp is a lot like my Vox AC15, which is a similarly stingy, powerful amp. If I was to compare the two, the, the AC15 top boost channel is like zingy. <laughs> And this is punchy. Again, that's like, you know, splitting hairs. But I swear there is something that's just so cutty about the high watt circuit in a really cool way. Oh, let's play, um... Am I gonna remember the riff? Uh, schizoid man. Here, let's gain it up a little bit more. <laughs> ah, wrong. <laughs> Just cut. Just slicing me to pieces. All right, let me go back to regular settings. I'm really bad at gear demos, by the way. This is why I don't do too many of them. Um, I get too excited about the toys and find it hard to talk in an organized fashion. It's funny, I can do very calm Bob Ross lessons when I'm talking about, well, here's how you put your finger here. But when you just give me a toy to play with, I'm just like, <laughs> So, okay, things to talk about. Other piece of the puzzle here. I think you can see it down there. By the way, my name's Eric Haugen. Here's my website and my Patreon if you want to help me out that way. And, and that would be appreciated. No pressure. I don't care either way. Um, the other piece of the puzzle back there is my Weber Minimass attenuator. That thing, can you see it? I think it's down there. Boop, 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 boop. Yo. Everybody who has a tube amp should have some kind of attenuator. I'm partial to that one because it has multiple ohm settings. And uh, yeah, that means I can use it with any of my amps. And I do. My Silvertone, my Tweeds, my Vox. Uh, you know, I don't use it with my Fender Tone Master because that has one built in. Side benefit of an attenuator, or at least this one. Here, let's just walk around my apartment. All tube amps, here, let me get this here. All tube amps have transformer hum. I'm gonna be out of focus, but that's okay. The mini mass takes it out. Check it. If I bypass it, listen to how much noisier the amp is. Now, to be fair, this amp is running on, you know, a million power, it's maxed out. Ready? Off, you know, there it is, cutting out all the noise. That's how much amp noise it would be making. Cool! That to me, is it still rolling? Yep. That to me is so useful um, for what I do here recording in, in an apartment where I'm not particularly loud. Uh, you know, if I was to say how loud I am, you know, that amp there, it's about how loud it would be because some people ask about this. If like you were on the other side of the house, I'm gonna blow out this mic. Hey! <laughs> it's, about, it's about that loud, is, is how loud I'm playing. Let's play more riffs. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm playing Sloan Riffs because Jay Ferguson, actually that whole band is my hero, but Jay is one of my heroes. He's a high watt player, although that riff is a Patrick Penland riff. Um, and that opening jam was a Sloan song that was Friendship from their 1999 album, Killer Record. So, all right, I have this set, master volume, way up, you know, all the way up. And then what else is going on there? Yeah, so effectively, that turns my mini mass into my master volume. Uh huh, smart move, Eric, which is how I would suggest to use a, an attenuator. If you have a master volume amp, you're like, uh oh, now there's too many knobs. Now I have to decide this, that, or the other thing. Um, so I would think about that. What else is going on there? The bass is, you know, about that far up. And yeah, actually, I have them all like, I guess, a third up. Um, and I have the little pull switch engaged. This is the clean channel. I'm not gonna demo the dirty channel because it's my demo, I get to do what I want. I don't really use dirty channels on amps. I'm an edge of breakup guy, so sorry. Not sorry. A little bit sorry. I know I'm not providing a full service that way, but I just feel like there's a lot to go into. That's all bridge pickup super cut vibes. Let's, let's chill out for a minute here. And hear how it is at like chill vibes. Um, that's right, I'm playing Sister Golden Hair Hendrix style. <laughs> oh no, wait, it would be. kind of love this amp a lot. Although to be fair, I love all amps, but this amp has a thing going on where it's more of everything. So even in chill out mode, it's kind of... It's super chill out mode. So, I am super loyal to guitars. Like you will almost always see me play a single coil Fender, be it this Telecaster, my Mustang, or one of my Strats. Amps though, give me all the amps. If you're an amp manufacturer out there, <coughs> send me amps. <laughs> I'll play them all. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just, I love them all. They're all little cool little boxes that do different things. So full disclosure, I bought that head, the, the, the T5, High Watts saw me play it and were like, game recognized game, can we send you this one to play on your channel? This is not a paid promotion, but I didn't pay for this amp. I will be sending it back after I use it for a dozen or so videos, or maybe I won't. A rent to buy kind of scenario. I never like to feel like a shill though. Um, so I, you only see me do demos of things. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. I like this thing. Uh, let's throw on some effects. Analog delay. Mm, analog delay, middle position pickup, D droney stuff. Uh, let's go back to that Pete Townsend riff. That just sounds good with everything. Let's check out one thing here. I guess, yeah, I put the amp too far away from me. Let's go ahead and see what the reverb is like. I don't actually like the reverb on this amp very much, but here, check it. By the way, yeah, the reverb you're hearing, I'm gonna cut it. I always use reverb in post. <gasps> I'm giving away some of my secrets. Yeah, just a little bit of Valhalla Vintage Verb is usually what I put on the signal. I'm gonna cut it off now and let's listen to the amp sproying. They, s according to the website, that's real spring reverb. I am dubious about that. I'm not a fan of that. It's fine. 
but all of us by now know that you can't really beat Fender Spring Reverb, True Tube Spring Reverb, or a really good reverb pedal. So, yeah, let's not worry about that. Let's play. Is there another Pete Townsend riff I was thinking of? Because, yeah, I'm thinking of like high watt players. Um, <laughs> Uh, young man blues. Let's see. Is there anything else I wanted to talk about with this? Nope. I just like playing it. I think, yeah, if I was to describe it, I would say British. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> um, but compared to a Vox, it's like a gutsy kind of punchier thing going on versus a zingy kind of thing. Thankfully, I have both. <laughs> That's fine. There you go. Uh, these are very affordable. They're hard to track down in the States. Um, there's only a few dealers that have them, but I would, yeah, I didn't realize I was just, you know, being a dork going around the internet, clicking on things. I was like, oh, High Watt is making an affordable line again. Um, you know, which no shade on the custom line. I mean, maybe one day I'll get one of those. Um, but yeah, it, yeah, I, I had always thought they were out of price reach that I could never get that badge and now you can but you gotta kind of poke around in the uk and canada i think they got more dealers um and elsewhere i think that's all i'll say for today thanks for tuning in to another eric tone ramble <laughs>